Hello teachers, this is Jenny Walker from DigiGoods and Printables ELA. I wanted to make a quick video to give you an idea of how to use this resource in case you're not familiar with 360 Digital Escape Rooms. So my 360 Digital Escape Rooms come with companion sheets or slides. This gives students a place to record their answers and build their extended response. You'll have a digital version, which is Google Slides, like what you see here. But you're, you also have access to a printable version, so you can choose which you want to use. So students will begin by entering their escape room, and you can give them this code if you're using the printable version. The first thing they will see is this, let's pause this. First thing they'll see is this main room that contains all of the mini lessons and videos, everything they need to make it through the Race It formula. They can read their first passage here. There are two passages, um, a literature and an informational text. Or if you like, they can also listen to the birthday party. party. <laughs> okay, so they'll start with the letter R, and each scene has a mini lesson and the escape room digital activities. You can do this mini lesson as a class, each of these if you like, or students can work independently. The first one teaches students all about restating the question. And then they'll move on to answer some questions and gather their escape codes. So as you can see, if they get the question right, it takes them to a room that gives them their first code, which is this number sign. And they can flip back to their Google Slides or their paper and record their first code. This code will after they finish, we'll give them the escape code to get to the next scene, which is answering the question. So as you can see, they just gather these codes. And then when they finish this process, they will move to their slides or paper and get their first prompt. So here's the first question, and they're going to build this response gradually. So at first, all they have to do, and there are five of these, at first, all they have to do is restate the question and answer it. As they progress through the escape room, learning all of the other elements, they'll begin adding more pieces to their response. So in this case, same question. And here they add responses. Also, there are answers for everything. And here they would add elaboration. And finally, they would have everything they need to build the entire response. This resource is highly scaffolded. As they're answering the questions, they will come they'll come across this evidence that they can choose from. So for most of the questions, they will have access to the answers and they will learn, they'll put it together. And then for some of the questions, they'll have to find this evidence and elaboration on their own. So this is good for students who are struggling as well as advanced students. Um, and that is it in a nutshell. There's several rooms to this escape room and um, it's very self-directed. Plus there are tip sheets and directions to help everybody and to help you understand this resource as well. And as always, I am always available for a chat. So if you have any questions or feedback or concerns, my email is within your resource. Please feel free to contact me and, and let's have a discussion. Um, so that's it. I hope this works well for you and I hope your students enjoy this resource. Thank you so much.